hey y'all thank you so much for returning for another video but if you are new here hi my name is kendra i am a zero based cash budgeter i budget on a monthly and a weekly basis i budget every single week because i get paid every single week i also love to do savings challenges diys and unboxings so if that sounds like something that you may be interested in please consider becoming a subscriber i would love to have you here hit that bell notification give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy also leave a comment below i would love to communicate with you and without further ado let's get into the video okay so i have my cash pouch right here and my tailor slip which i took to the bank you guys can see i got 677 dollars that's how much i got paid so we are going to go ahead and count up the cash so we have 100 200 oh before i start i did do a rollover so i emptied out my um everyday spend binder or everyday spend wallet and i had 44 dollars left i actually have more than that but i put it towards um debt yeah i put some of it towards debt, like paying back my um card from swiping my card so i got paid 677 i rolled over for 44 dollars and that gave me a total of 721 dollars or yeah 721 dollars so that should be my total altogether, $721. So I had to go back because I decided to add the rollover to my budget. I had to go back and rearrange some numbers and whatnot, but it all worked out. So let's go ahead and count it. 100, 200, 50, 300, 50, 400, 20, 40, 60, 85, 20, 40, so 5, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 96, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, so 6, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 705, so 705 dollars. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So 721 dollars is exactly what I'm supposed to have. So let's get into this cash stuffing. So we are going to go ahead and cash stuff these bills. So for mortgage, I am stuffing 152 dollars as usual. So we have 150, 51, 52. For utilities, I am doing something a little bit different because this is a low income month for me. I have not been to work this week, so I don't know if I'm gonna get paid next week. I might put in a vacation for the whole week. That way I can get paid next week. But if I do decide to take off the next week, I definitely won't get it paid for that week. So I'm looking to only have three paychecks for this month instead of four. Um, so for utilities, I decided to go ahead and stuff the full amount. So I'm trying to get ahead on my bills and stuff as much as I can. So for utilities, I'm stuffing $159, which should be enough for next month for me to be fully stuffed. So 150, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59. I was going to do $40 a week, which is $5 more than what I stuffed last week. So if I would have did $40 a week, that would have gave me $160. I am $1 short, so this should be good, hopefully. For phone, phone is getting the usual $20. So car insurance is getting the usual $20. Internet is getting 
so I did decide to stuff internet too so since I did do the rollover money um, I put $30 towards internet on top of the $15 that I was already stuffing so that gives me 45 so that's the exact amount that I need for this month so I'm doing you know what I don't know what denominations I had for that so hopefully this doesn't mess me up but I did have let's do the 10 and the 5 for um, usual and then I'm gonna do two tens oh I can't remember 20 30 45 let's just do that and hope I'm not taking a 20 from anything so 20 30 45 so 45 for internet investment is getting 50 savings is getting 50 gym is getting 10 so i'm stuffing all my subscriptions and stuff this week too so gym got 10 um subscriptions Canva gets 14, so one, two, three, four. It's 14, and Netflix gets 17, so 10, 15, 16, 17. All right, so that is it for our bills binder. And we're gonna move right on to my weekly spend. So right here we have takeout. Takeout is getting 20, three tens, and a five, which should give us 55. 20, 30, 40, 55. All right, so groceries, groceries is getting 50, which should be two 20s and a 10. Gas is not getting anything because I just recently put gas in the car. Shopping is getting 50, so shopping shopping should be getting 220, so I must have gave that to utilities, so we can do two 10s instead of two 20s, and then another 10, so that should be 50. 20, 30, 40, 50. Let me see. Let's take 10 and do two fives. 20, 30, 40, 45, 50. All right, and then miscellaneous is getting a 10 and a five, so 15. And then we already stuff savings and investment. So Capital One, my debt is getting 14, which is the leftover um, money from the rollover. So I did 30 towards internet and then 14 for um, Capital One. So we are going to put that in the debt envelope. So I do need to do a debt update. and see how much more I need to stuff. So that is debt. That is 
I'm getting kind of thick up in there. My bank, I need to take this money to the bank. And that is it. So no savings challenge stuffing, no sinking fund stuffing because stuffing extra towards the bills. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in here. And oh yeah, let's empty out our change. If I have to, I can empty out this change to put towards the bills too. So as you can see, I was swiping my card. I do have a video coming out of me doing, paying back my cards. So like emptying out my envelopes and putting it into the back to the bank binder. So I can pay back the bank for swiping my cards. All right, so that is it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment below, and please consider subscribing. I would love to have you here, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.